Hi everybody, Kimberly here, and today I want to show you how to do this really great technique with acetate, heat embossing on acetate. Um, I just love the look of gold on anything, which you guys all know. Um, but I just thought, oh man, putting it on this clear acetate would create quite a unique embellishment and a, quite a unique piece to put on a card. It's really easy to do, so let's get started. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to use some of this heat resistant acetate, which means that I can stamp and emboss on it. Not all of the transparencies or acetate that you're going to buy can withstand heat. So make sure that you are getting heat resistant acetate to try this technique. If you're interested in this, remember I always link you up to where you can purchase the products at the bottom of the video in the video description. So I've cut my piece of acetate um, down to four and a quarter by five and a half, just the basic card front. It's just a good size uh, to be able to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on it and then heat emboss. But this is a piece of plastic and plastic carries a lot of static electricity in it, which means that you're going to get a lot of um, stray particles of embossing powder that you won't be able to get off easily. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a dryer sheet. This is just a bounce dryer sheet. And I'm going to just quickly rub it over the front and the back of the acetate and try to get as much of that acetate, uh, um, not acetate, but as much of the static off the acetate as I can. I'm going to ink up my stamp. This is polka dot background from my favorite things. And I'm going to be using some Versamark watermark ink pad. Um, I like this ink because it's wet. So it is clear um, because it is watermark, but I just like how long it stays wet. It lets me work with it a little bit easier. All right, make sure I've got enough coverage. Nope, I need a little bit more. And I like to put my ink pad on to my stamp. Uh, makes it easier to see if I have even coverage of ink or not. And it gives me more control. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna turn this sideways. I just like to turn, when I'm using a big background stamp like this, I like to turn it sideways. I feel like I can line things up a little bit better. And push straight down. As you can see, I like to just use my hand for these big ones, but you could use a block um, to stamp this down. And I'm gonna, it's gonna stick, so just peel it away. And here, maybe if I pull this away, you'll be able to see the stamped image on there. Then I'm going to take my embossing powder, and I'm just using a gold embossing powder here. And I'm gonna be obnoxious. I'm gonna sprinkle a ton of this on because then I know I'm gonna get it covered. Okay, and I see some spots I need to put a little bit more on. And just add a little bit more. And this isn't gonna be perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect with their inking and all that kind of stuff. So just do as best you can. And what I will do is I'm gonna set that down for a second. And I take all my extra embossing powder and put it back in the jar and then I will just toss this piece of scrap paper away and I keep a big stash of scrap paper right here in my pile so I'll grab another one so you can see a little bit better okay so we still got some stray um, flecks of embossing powder what I will do is I will go in and I have this little paintbrush here and I use this paintbrush to sweep away any little bit of extra embossing powder that's where I don't want it. And what I'll do is I'll sweep it and then I'll blow the extra away. So just sweep it away and blow it away, getting rid of some of the extra. But when I did this without rubbing it with the um, dryer sheet, oofta, it was so bad. There was The whole thing was just covered. So it really does help cut that down. All right, so that's as much as I'm gonna do for now. So just in your stash, keep a cheapy little paintbrush that you can use to, to sweep this away. I'm gonna use my um, heat tool here to heat this up and it's gonna get bright because it's attached to my overhead lights. So just hang on and here I'm gonna show you how to heat emboss it. Hmm. 
Okay, and there you have it. So you can see how as I was embossing it and using the heat tool, I kept a continuous motion of it. And when you're heat embossing, you want to see the powder go from that flat, matte, chunky look to a smooth and shiny look. And now I have this great piece of acetate that I can use. And now I can use this as a whole piece or I can die cut it like I did on this card to use on a project. So there you go. Heat embossing on acetate. A great look. A whole lot of fun. Have fun creating some acetate backgrounds.